The bustle of a big city calls for mega transportation and rail lines that connect millions of commuters every day. So I'm trading my sneakers for steel toes and heading into a tunnel with engineer Veronica Vallejo to learn how they're built. And this is where I'm about to go off limits. So currently we are at Laird Station, it's one of the 15 underground stops here at Eglinton Crosstown LRT. It's really cold here, I had to it put is. a coat on, why is it, it so is. cold? We're very, very deep into the ground. Um, if you look over there, actually you can see the end of the tunnel. Veronica is a civil engineer and the tunnel fit out and track installation project manager. As the project manager of the tunnel and the track, I am in charge of making sure that we prepare the tunnel for all the infrastructure, all the mechanical, electrical components of the system, and obviously making sure that the trains can run on track. Along this new rail line, there are 15 stations below ground and 10 surface stops. When Veronica started with her team, this double tunnel was empty. What are we going to be doing in the tunnel today? So in the tunnel, I do want to show you the different components of the tunnel and I want to show you how we install track. I'm really excited to be able to go on the tunnel. It'll be very fun. It'll be <laughs> very, very fun. Okay, so for today, we'll try swapping out one of these shims here. This is what really holds the rail to the ground. This egg-looking thing is called the fastener and it's a direct fixation type. So it just means that you fasten it directly to the concrete here. Veronica and her team have installed steel fasteners into the concrete every 75 centimeters. These have to last 20 years. So why don't we try removing one of these clips? Yep. And then we'll uh, change out some shims and then we put it back on. Okay, let's do it. You did it! <laughs> that was actually amazing. You did it! See, that, that was, was easy. Okay, so now that it's off, you can do any work on the fastener that you need. Regular maintenance is always important. Just to make sure I understand, this one is the fastener, this one is the shim, and this is the clip? This is what's called a clip, yes. Okay. You know, maintenance crews, they do this all the time. I've learned how to take the clip off for maintenance, and now it's time to put it back on. We put the clip back on. You can try it. Pull back. Oh, you need to do this with a lot of force. There you go, you're doing it. It's in. Yes. We've done maintenance on the track. Now, checks and balances. So before we open a track for service, we do have to check the track gauge. So the track gauge is just your distance from your left rail to right rail. This distance actually matches the axle of the train. So you can help me line that up, just make sure that it's flush. Yep. We do this because we want to make sure that our gauge is as close to 1435 mils as possible. If we're outside of that range, it could cause a derailment. You can check it here. So we're aiming for 1435. Yep, it looks like we're there. Perfect. Right on the dot. Good. Did you always know that you wanted to be a civil engineer? Yes. So when I was growing up, I love watching those um, how to build videos like dams and bridges and high rises. And I've always wondered, wow, like how do they do that? So I figured, okay, why don't I just get into engineering, learn how to build things. And a few years later, I'm here building one of the biggest projects in North America. I'm very passionate about construction. I truly love what I do. It's a very rewarding job. I want young women, when they see someone wearing a high vis and a hard hat, I want them to be able to say, oh, hey, that looks pretty cool. What, what does she do? I want to do that. 